We've got uh, critical care pharmacist Amina Mertusa from uh, Vassar Brothers Hospital Health Quest. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Amina. So, all right, so lay it out for us. MRSA, is it uh, really dangerous? So it really depends. Um, It can range anywhere from mild to severely life-threatening. The key about MRSA is that um, it's a bacterial infection that is resistant to numerous antibiotics, and that's what makes it challenging to treat. So it really does depend on the type of infection it is. So, so the deal with MRSA is it's like it's like a staph infection, but yes. it's resistant to a lot of antibiotics. Yes, and that's why it could be dangerous, right? Because uh, it's hard to treat. Yes. So now, what's been making the news is uh, this uh, Daniel Fells from the uh, New York Giants. Now he got MRSA, I guess, on his ankle, and he's a, a healthy guy. He's an athlete. You know, he's a, he's a strong guy. Yes. But like he was, this is like life threatening. Like he's gone through his sixth surgery. They're saying they're going to amputate his foot. You know, they didn't think he was going to make it. He'll never play football again. How do you know, like, if you get that MRSA, if it's going to turn into something like that? So the thing with the student is that he's a football player. And a, with collision sports, the risk is, you know, you get a cut or a scrape or an abrasion. And then if you, you know, go without treating it properly or cleansing the wound properly, it can you know, turn into an infection where MRSA can grow and get into your bloodstream and it can also get right into your bone. And once the infection gets into your bone, that's very difficult to treat because antibiotics have a hard time penetrating inside the bone. Um, To treat something like this, you would either need to um, have a very long-term therapy, so about six weeks of IV antibiotics, or you might even have to cut your foot off because the antibiotics aren't very... Effective. Yeah. So say, for example, this this kid Marlboro, like if it's early detection, what are the chances of it turning into something terrible? So if you have early detection, then you can treat the infection properly right away, um, both with uh, the appropriate antibiotics as well as um, hygiene and wound cleansing, whatever the case is. So the key is having early detectment, detectment early treatment, and that way the infection will be eradicated. Now, it, it can it spread to other people? Like if a person that has a cut is with a person who has a cut that has MRSA, can that be spread around and can it become like an epidemic kind of thing? So that's a very good question. Um, there are a couple of ways that MRSA infections can be contracted and spread outside of the hospital. Um, they can be spread from person to person through skin to skin contact or from person to object to person. Um, like what kind of object? Like a, so, a glass or something? So like doorknobs, sinks, really? floors. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you have to be really careful. So like if you had uh, like a child or somebody in a school where they found MRSA, how concerned would you be like on a, a scale of like one to ten? I would be very concerned at nine or ten. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. So now what would you uh, suggest parents do for their kids uh, to keep them safe uh, if they're going back to school now with a uh, the MRSA case that's there? So the biggest key is it's important to do regular hand washing, teaching your kids how to properly wash your hands, really washing your hands well. So scrubbing with soap for 20 seconds and then rinsing well under clean running water, keeping their fingernails short, you know, because dirt can ac- accumulate under your fingernails, and teaching them not to share... Um, items that might be, you know, personal items such as hairbrushes or cosmetics or towels or razors, anything like that. Be careful, I guess, parents, you know, make sure your kids know what they're doing with their head and then back into school. So, I mean, I would be terrified. uh, And you're telling me that it's okay to be terrified. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, uh, I mean, MRSA is out in the community. You want to be careful, especially with a young child. All right. And I guess one of the most important things, though, is to if you have any signs at all of uh, any swelling or redness or anything yes. like that, go right to the doctor. So yes. you, want to, you want to get that done early. Yes. All right. Amina, thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thank you I so really much for having it. me. Uh, Armina Mertuza, she's a critical care pharmacist over at uh, Vassar with HealthQuest. Uh, and uh, we'll put all this information up on the web, too, at WPDH.com so people know uh, what to do. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. All right.